Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I will show you how you can automate Docker image builds using Jenkins. So let's begin. So in this video, we're going to learn how we can automatically build Docker images and push it to Docker Hub using Jenkins as an automating software. So first of all, I'll take you to my GitHub repository. So this is a test flask app I have right here. So for this, we're going to create a Jenkins file, which will automate the process of building the Docker image for this repository or project and then it will push it automatically to docker hub once the build is successful all right so let's begin so first of all in this repository we need to have a docker file so if you do not know how to create a docker file for a test flask app or a flask app you can refer to our previous videos so i'll just show you what does a docker file for flask app looks like this is using the python 3.10 slim version and then the work directory set, set to slash app copying the requirements to our txt and installing the requirements copying the app content and then exposing 5000 port and then we can run the we can simply run the class start app uh, start command which is python app.py so this is a sample docker file for a flask application now i'll show you how to create a jenkins file which will automate this process of building the docker image for this application and then pushing it to our docker hub account all right, so first of all, we can click on add a file. So we're going to add the Jenkins file for this project. And I'll just name it something like Jenkins file. And then I'll write the content right here. All right, so first of all, as we know, we need to have the pipeline block, which is the master block. And everything is going to come inside this. For the alien, we can set it to any. And then let's start with the actual code. So first of all, I'm going to set some environment variables. So I'm going to set uh, environment variables, something like image name, which is going to be the image name we're going to build and push. So this is going to be something like your username of Docker Hub, which is path to the three for me, slash, and the name of a repository for the image you want to keep. So this is going to be test flask for me. All right, perfect. So now we can move on to the stages of our Jenkins pipeline. So this, in the stages, we can first of all have the stage of checkout. So first of all, we can check out the changes inside our GitHub repository and then build upon the, and then we can build upon those changes and build the, actually build the image and push it to the Docker Hub. All right, so for the, for the stages, we can have the steps for the checkout stage here, the steps block. And for the steps, we simply have one step, which is just get. And we can simply write the URL of our repository, which is HTTPS, python star star, github.com, All right, so I've written the URL for my GitHub repository. If you want to specify the branch here, you can specify the branch here by git branch main, and then the URL you can specify like this. All right, perfect. So now moving on forward, we can set the second next stage of our pipeline, which is going to be building the Docker image. So for this, we can uh, go to the next stage can get out of the stage block and then declare another stage named something like build docker image and then we can have the steps inside of this stage as well so the steps we have simply a command which will run something like docker build high filter and the image name so for this i'm using a windows environment so i have to use bat for this if you're using a linux or if you're, you you are using it on your linux servers something like aws ec2 you can use sh for that because that's a shell command format for linux also you need to have docker installed inside your system before running this uh, file so make sure to install docker if you do not know how to install docker you can refer to our previous videos as well all right so now i'll just run the command which is bat docker build hyphen t and then the image name that is stored inside our environment so i can just refer to the variable 
with the percentage sign, image name, and then for the tag, I can just keep it as latest. And then I can select the path of my Docker file, which is in the root. So I just put a dot right here. Perfect. So our stage of building the Docker image is complete. Now we can move on to the next stage, which is pushing to the Docker Hub account. Push to Docker Hub. And here we can also have steps. So for the steps, we have actually we have a step with credentials. So I'm going to show you how you can create the credentials in Jenkins as well. But first of all, I'll just create this file to show you how it, how it works. So first of all, in the steps, we can have something, a command called with credentials. And with credentials in the arguments, we're going to pass first of all, the username password, uh, the username password function, which we can refer to by in the square brackets. And then we can write username, password. This means that we have a username password type of credential, which we are going to create in Jenkins right here. So for I'll show you how you can create the credentials inside Jenkins. First of all, go inside your Jenkins uh, homepage dashboard and then go to the manage Jenkins section. Go down and go to the credentials and you can see we have all the credentials listed here. So for creating a global credential, which we can create here, I can click on global here and then click on add credentials. So for the type of username with password, which we are actually using here, referred by username password, we can add the username for Docker Hub account, which is path 243 for me, as you can ask it here, and the password right here. ID is just an identifier of this credential, so you can put anything you want. And then by clicking on create, your credentials will be created. I already have credentials with the ID name as Docker created, so we will use that. Or as well, after the username password, we can have we can uh, declare our credentials ID, but credentials ID, and then I'm going to pass the name of my ID, which is Docker. And then I'm going to pass the username variable, which is going to be Docker user. This basically what happens is the credentials user will get uh, the credentials user will be saved inside the Docker user variable. And also similarly, you can save the password variable in docker pass variable all right so we have set up our credentials now and then we can go inside the block for this with credentials function and then we can run a command which will basically run the docker build command or the docker push command we can have that and then we can run multi-line commands so i'll just use three apostrophes and then we can use echo first of all we do echo the docker password because our system should be able to access that password so we have to echo that password don't worry it will not be displayed publicly inside a console it will be just visible to the system echo docker pass and then we can break the line we can now log in inside a docker using the docker login command the docker login Python U, then we can have the Docker user variable right here, which we got from the with credentials function. And then we can, for the password, we can just put it as hyphen hyphen password stdin because we have already echoed the password. Now we can run the docker push command so for running the docker push command we can run docker push and then the image name is going to be image underscore name variable and the tag of the image is latest perfect and then you can finally docker log out as well just to be ensured about it that's all about our Jenkins file 
So we have declared all the steps. So let's see if this Jenkins file actually worked now. All right, so I'm going to commit the changes and then move on to my Jenkins dashboard. Now we'll create a pipeline which will automate this process. So first of all, go to new item, select a pipeline name, and then select the pipeline item. Create the Jenkins pipeline, and now we can go down. If you want, you can use the triggers we have discussed before. I'll just keep it as manual build. So I'll take the pipeline script from SCM. The same is going to be Git. I'm going to copy the repository link from here. And so the, since the repository is public, I do not need any credentials. For the branch, I can specify it to be slash main. And then we can uh, move forward. I can say, click on save right here, and then our pipeline will be created. So now I'll test this pipeline by clicking on build now button right here. And as you can see, my build has started. So let's see what's happening inside this build. All right, so I have to put semicolon after the branch right here, and it will work fine now. Now I'll try to build this pipeline again. And there was another syntax error, so let's just fix that as well. All right, so I've just fixed syntax for the stage push to Docker Hub, and now I'll commit this as well. All right, so hopefully it should build right uh, now. Let's try building the pipeline here. And by seeing the console output, I think it is working good now. Yeah, so first of all, it has got the GitHub repository, and now it is building the Docker image. All right, so as you can see, it has run the command Docker build hyphen D plus to the three slash test plus, and it is starting the Docker file content as well. As you can see, all the Docker commands are being done right here. Perfect. So as you can see, it has moved forward to the next step, which is logging inside Docker, and it has successfully logged in, as we can see from the output as log it succeeded right here. Perfect. And now it has run the push command as well which is successfully running right here so perfect so let's just wait for this image to build and then push to docker hub All right, so the process took around three to four minutes, and now we have got the final message, which is success. That means we have actually finished the Jenkins file successfully. Perfect. So let's now check our Docker Hub account and see if 
a test flask repository is present or not. All right, so as you can see, we have got the test flask repository right here. So that means we have, we have successfully pushed the Docker image from the GitHub repository to Docker Hub directly by automating the process using Jenkins. So guys, that was it for the video. And if you like the video, make sure to like the video and thanks for watching.